Hello students, welcome to GDC short video series. So in this today's video, we basically talk about the comparison between southern blotting, northern blotting and western blotting. What is the basically their difference? What are their applications? How they basically works? So these, so southern blotting is basically for the detection of DNA. Northern blotting is basically detection of mRNA. Western blotting is for the detection of protein. So people go all are gel electrophoresis and gel electrophoresis basically of two types that is agarogel electrophoresis or polyacrylamide. Two types of gel is used, agarogel and polyacrylamide gel. For southern blotting, either agarose gel or polyacrylamide gel can be used. For northern blotting, formaldehyde agarose gel is used. For western blotting, only polyacrylamide gel is used. So blotting method is capillary transfer in for southern blotting, for northern blotting it is capillary transfer, but for western blotting, the electric transfer is used. Okay, uh, separate transfer unit is there, separate transfer unit will be there by with the help of this, they basically uh, transfer. Next is probes, probes basically contains probes are cDNA radioactive or non-radioactive cDNA and rRNA radioactive or non-radioactive. So in case of western blotting, primary antibody is used. Okay, in case of uh, uh, western blotting, primary antibodies are used. Okay, this question was asked in GPAT 2019. So detection system is autoradiography, chemiluminescent and colorimetric detection for southern blotting. Autoradiography, chemiluminescent, colorimetric is same for northern blotting, but in case of western blotting, chemiluminescent and colorimetric technique is basically used. Thank you. For more such content, follow our YouTube channel GTC Classes English.